y'all welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in before we go any further make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified of each video okay so right now i want to talk about we're at the midway season at the midway point of the nfl season so i'm going to talk about each team this is going to go really quick so stay with me the new england patriots man i'm really tired of this team i i really get tired of this team i swear i do whether it's the tuck rules, spy gate, deflate gate, and even the new QB rules since Brady got injured that one year. Now you can't even touch quarterbacks no more. Thanks to who? Thanks to Tom Brady, the NFL's golden boy. However, they do keep winning and their defense is very good. Belichick is great. They'll be tested this weekend in Baltimore, but they'll be there at the end fighting for the Super Bowl. Now Buffalo Bills, they have a great defense, but... I still feel like they're a couple a couple of years away. Josh Allen, I mean, he's just been average so far. He needs more growth. Frank Gore at running back, he's too old. And they don't have any marquee receivers. Now, they did have Sammy Watkins a few years ago, but he was always injured. Now, they need a few more pieces. The New York Jets. Man, I'm not sold on Sam Donald at all. Other than Le'Veon Bell, they don't have much offense. Man, I don't even know why Bell signed with them in the first place. They aren't making the playoffs this year, and I don't even know if they have their QB of the future. Miami Dolphins, man, they're just sorry. They're, the coaching staff, they're in a bad situation because the owners wanted to trade all the good players. But who's going to get blamed? The coach. An African-American coach at that. This team is going nowhere fast. The Baltimore Ravens. Now, they got a big game this week with the with New England. We're going to see if they for real. I really think this might be the week that New England goes down. I mean, let's keep it real. They're going to make the playoffs, and they can upset anyone any given Sunday. Pittsburgh Steelers. Honestly, I really can't gauge them this year, especially with Big Ben getting hurt at the start of the year. The jury is still out on this team's potential. However, they did get blown out in week one by the Patriots, and that's with Big Ben. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs this year. Cleveland Brown. Man, this team has major issues. And Mayfield, he leads the NFL in, in turnovers. Odell can't get the ball. I'm glad I didn't draft him in fantasy football, by the way. Freddie Kitchens is terrible. I don't even see how he got the job, to be honest. I see them missing the playoff. Also, too many penalties. The Bengals, they just benched Andy Dalton, so it looks like they may be rebuilding. A.J. Green is wasting away his best years. I thought he'll be traded, but he's still a Bengal. Man, this team is going nowhere fast. Andy Coates. Man, they're a great team. They're really my sleeper favorite, to be honest, to go to the Super Bowl. They have a complete roster, and Cassette has been great considering the circumstances before the season. The Houston Texans, oh man, no Clowney, no J.J. Watt. The defense has taken a major hit. As good as Deshaun Watson is, I see them possibly making the playoffs, but they going home early. Because they can surprise people with Watson. You really can't count them out. Jaguars, I mean, they may have a quarterback issue, even though Minshew has been playing well. But they did pay Foles $88 million 88 million dollars to be the starting quarterback so they might have to make some decisions man i honestly don't see them making the playoffs they still like a year or two away in my opinion the titans they moved on from mariota there was always this question of who was better mariota or winston both of them came out the same year and starting and both of them may be losing their jobs next year the titans they can upset anyone also but i don't see them making the playoffs the Kansas City Chiefs, this team, they will be there at the end. Now, I don't like their defense. They should have made a trade before the deadline to improve their defense. However, as long as Mahomes is back there, they can win on any given Sunday. Oakland, Derek Carr, he's been doing well lately. However, I remember people was thinking he was going to be the next best thing in the AFC. Nah. Those days are long gone now. However, Gruden, he's been doing a good job, but I don't see him making the playoffs. The L.A. Chargers, man, they tease us every year with spurts of good play. Then they don't make the playoffs, and when they do, what happened? New England blows them out. This team is not for real. 
The Denver Broncos, man, this team is going nowhere as well. Flacco is injured, calling out his coach. This team cannot score enough points to be considered a threat at all. America's team, the Dallas Cowboy, this team is interesting. Even when they're even when they lose, the team they still interesting. The Cowboys, in my opinion, they will make the playoffs, but they're not going to the Super Bowl. Nah. Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this team, they have potential, and they can make the playoffs, too. They really don't have any team speed, man. They need to get Deshaun Jackson back ASAP. The division is between either them or the Cowboys. Whoever loses can be out of the playoffs. The New York Giants. Now, they seem to find their quarterback for the, for the future, but again, they don't found their way out of the playoffs. Daniel Jones, he's a good quarterback, but honestly, he needs more experience, and he's still about a year or two away. Now, Barkley, Barkley is a beast, and they may have the best running back in football. I like the Giants in the future, maybe, but just not right now. The Redskins, man, I feel sorry for Dwayne Haskins. His team don't want him, and when he's playing, it shows. He's been terrible, man. They're not going anywhere this year, and depending on who their new coach is, they may be terrible from years to come. The Green Bay Packers. Now this team, this is the real deal. And Aaron Rodgers, he's the MVP. He may be an MVP candidate. And they've been playing well despite injuries. This team will be there at the end and they are definitely a contender. The Minnesota Vikings. Uh, this team will go as Kirk Cousins goes. They have all the pieces, but can you really trust Cousins in the playoffs? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean... They may make the playoffs, and they could upset someone, but I, I see them going home early. The Detroit Lions. Eh, this team, they play well in spurts, but they're not going to make the playoffs this year. They have the talent to win on any given Sunday. Matthew Stafford, he put up a lot of big numbers, but he is yet to do anything in the playoffs. The Chicago Bears. Man, Mitchell Trubisky is just flat out terrible. The coaching staff clearly don't believe in him. I think they need to go in a new direction and find a new quarterback. They should actually trade for Phillip Rivers. Then they'll have a good quarterback because they got everything else. They should get Phillip Rivers for two years and go on the Super Bowl run. Because Trubisky is a bust. Trash. I'm calling it now. The New Orleans Saints. Man, this team is the truth. They're right now my favorite to win the Super Bowl. They didn't miss a beat without Drew Brees. They got offense and they got defense. The Super Bowl is there for the taking. Carolina Panthers, man, they got knocked back down to earth by the 49ers this week. I mean, their remaining season really depends on Cam Newton. If he plays well, they can make a run for the playoffs. But even if they make the playoffs, I, I see them exiting early. The Tampa Bay Bucks, man, let's just call it what it is. Jamin Winston is a bust. I see them going another route at QB next year. He has way too many turnovers. I like their offense, though. They have all the right pieces to score points. They just need a better quarterback, man. They will miss the playoffs this year because this team is too up and down. The Atlanta Falcons, my home team. Oh, my goodness. This team this year is terrible. They have one of the highest paid quarterbacks, one of the highest paid wideouts and Julio, one of the highest paid running backs and freeman and can't score no dog on points and they don't have no good defense they need to they need to get rid of the head coach period now the 49ers they have a great team a great defense and they can really run the ball jimmy g is undefeated as a starter that's incredible they're going to battle with the saints in the nfc but i believe in breeze over jimmy however they can win on any given sunday so the 49ers do have a chance to go to the super bowl the seattle seahawks this team well they goes as russell wilson goes they can upset anyone on any given sunday as well i see them making the playoffs but i see them exiting early also the defense they just isn't good enough to win at all the rams now they got the best db in the league they got a good quarterback as well they just need girly to get back to being girly they rely heavily on play action so they just need to run game and step up now they're going to make the playoffs but girly look man i drafted you on my fantasy team i really need you to step it up Arizona Cardinals. This team is fun to watch, and they have a really good QB. They're making scribes, but they're going to scribe their way right out the playoffs this year. 
this is the toughest division in football. And man, they just going to be on the outside looking in. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. That was my mid-season report. But hey, what do I know, man? I'm just a girl from the South with an opinion. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.